This is a clean uh, copper plate uh, that I'm going to be enameling. And I'm going to be enameling from start to finish so you can see the whole thing, the whole process from beginning to end. Taking a couple of shortcuts along the way. The first thing I do, I, I have uh, the enamel all laid out here, the different colors I'm going to be using. This is a glue solution and I can I can use the brush to put the glue solution on, sift the enamel over the glue solution. Voila, there it is. The glue holds it in place. And then to make it a bit more interesting, uh, visually, I'm going to use a second color, sec second application. Brush the glue on. Sift the second color on. And it's ready to go. I can use a brush and clean off any little spots that I don't like the look of. Done. Alright, now I'm ready to do the, uh, the overall coats. I'm going to use, I've used two colors here for the design. I'm going to use two colors now uh, of, that are going to cover the whole dish. This, I spray it now with a glue solution. I can't use the brush now because I've got dry enamel that it would get messed up. So use the spray to get the glue on. You can see the little drops of glue and then start sifting. See the little drops of glue? And then sift the color on. The uh, You have to spray it between applications of color because you want the glue solution uh, mixed so that all the enamel is, is damped, damp with the glue. You don't want it running, but, but you want it damp. It's a beautiful kind of golden brown color. You can see that already, that it's going to be rich. All right, then on, I have a pale green. I'm going to be sifting that on the rest of it. Same process. Sift, spray. And the trick is to stop when you're done. <laughs> know when you're done. Uh, if I can't see any copper showing through, then I know it's got enough enamel on it. Not a trick, but a rule I've followed since I began enameling over 50 years ago. There we are. Here's the piece. It's on a little mesh rack, steel mesh rack, uh, and I'm going to put it in the kilt. Look out for the heat. It's very hot in there. And I'm going to time it. Put it in. Because it's really hot, it's uh, 1550. It, it, it's going to fire very, very fast. Very hot. You can, and it's fun to watch it cool. The colors will come up much better as it cools. Now it's going to be underfired, but when I do the back, I'll fire it higher and longer, and uh, it, it will mature the colors. Uh, this is, I've sifted the enamel on the back, prepared the back. And you notice now I have it on a different kind of, I have it actually on the stilt uh, because I can't lay it down on the mesh anymore. It has to be held by the edges. So I'm going to put it in the kill. This is going to be pretty hot, very exciting. The kill is very hot. Timer, always the timer. There 
we are. I'll let it cool a bit. And then I'll lift it off. There we go. And then let's watch it cool. It's a beautiful color. Beautiful. This one. I don't know if you remember how the other piece looked, but the colors were muddier uh, and that high firing, when you do the backing, just brings out the color beautifully. It matures it.